Hello, I'm Sarah with Inkno. I hope you all are having a really great day. So today I'm going to go over an introduction to Padlet. And at the end, I'll mention some of the best ways that you can use it for remote learning with your students. If you're just starting to implement technology into your classroom, Padlet is a great place to start. It can be used in so many different ways, but is still super simple and easy to use. So what exactly is Padlet? Padlet is a digital bulletin board for you and your students to organize and save different types of content all under one roof. So to begin using Padlet, let's uh, start over at padlet.com and we can make our account. So you can begin with a free account, but you can upgrade later if you prefer. So you should be able to use everything as normal with the free account and with no need to upgrade. Once, like you see here, you can only have three Padlet boards, but once your board is complete, you can just archive it or delete it. So then it frees up another spot for you. All right, so once you've signed in and made your account, you'll be at your Padlet homepage. So it's pretty straightforward and easy to organize all of your boards in these files here at the side. So at the top is where you can make your own Padlet board. You can join another board if it's from another teacher or if your students have created one. And then also you can view the Padlet gallery. So in this gallery, there are plenty of examples that you can get inspiration from. Let's start by making our own board. So we'll just click the make button and you'll see that you have a whole bunch of choices on how to format your board and display the content. So they have some really versatile options, but in my opinion, the wall, the grid and the shelf are the best for seeing the most content in a structured way. So today I'm just going to start with a wall board. And once it loads up, you'll see that you have some options to create it for yourself. Super simple. So I'm just going to customize it by adding my own title and a description. I'm also going to add an icon here so that it shows up at the front of my title and it calls out my title a little bit more, let students kind of know what it's about. So I'm going to also change this address on the clipboard so it's a little bit simpler and easier to copy. So you can also feel free to change up the appearance of your board to whatever fits suits your style, but today I'm just going to leave it as is. So I do want to point out some of these options uh, further down. The first one is that attribution. So this displays all of the names of who posts what. So this is nice to see which students have posted which answers. The comments and the reactions are also great to use to provide feedback to what students have posted. And under the reactions, there's a whole bunch of different um, options to choose from. So I'll go with grading today so that we can see what that looks like. Okay, now the content filtering. So this is really nice so that you can monitor everything that your students are posting. But to require approval, just make sure that you're monitoring this while students are posting and active so that they are still getting a real-time update of what is being on the Padlet board. Okay, now that all of our options are set, we can just click Next, and there you have it. The first Padlet board is created. Okay, so our next step is to make a post on our board. So there's a couple of different ways to do this. You can double click on the screen, just directly drag files or anything from your desktop. If you have something copied on your clipboard, you can just paste it into the Padlet board, or you can just click the plus button down here in the corner. So that's what I'll start with today. 
and you'll see a box appears on the screen. And so every post starts off just like this. You can add some text and then you can attach some files, uh, a link to an article or a video. You can search for some images or you can even just take one. So in this post, I'm just going to link to a video so that you can see that students are able to just watch this video right from Padlet. It embeds it in there. You don't have to go to a different website. Okay, let's add another post. I'm just going to double click. And you can see that after the camera icon, there are three little buttons. So this brings up a drop down menu of more options that you can have. So you can see that uh, adding a film, a voice, and the screen recording are all part of the premium plan. So if you're interested in those, feel free to upgrade. For this post, I'm just going to go with a Google search here. And let's look for something swimming related to add. All right, cool. There we have it. So. Let's now share this Padlet with our students so that they can also post. So up in the top, you'll see a little menu, a toolbar, and the one we're looking for is share. And in my opinion, the best way to share this Padlet with your students is to copy it to the clipboard and then either paste it in email or however you get in touch with your students. You can directly email it to them from Padlet, or you can just share it through Google Drive if you're a Google Drive user. So you can also see that there's a whole bunch of different exporting options. So you can use that when your board is complete and you want to keep a record of this for later. So back to the Padlet board. Before you remember, we turned on our commenting and grading back in that um, original menu. And so you can see here under the post that you can comment and grade them right from here. So if you wanna change any of those options that we had at the beginning, up at that top, there's the settings icon and the three dots. So the three dots are gonna give you a expanded drop-down menu of that uh, little toolbar at the top. So you can see modify is down here at the bottom. So we can click that and it will bring back that menu from the beginning. So you can also click on those three dots to change the format of your Padlet board. So it's super easy to do. Let's see, this time I'm going to choose a shelf. And once it loads up, you'll see that it has moved everything over to a different format. So it's super easy to organize and move all these posts into different columns. All right, cool. So as you can see, if you don't like one setting in Padlet, it is never set in stone. So you can always change it and upgrade it as needed. And that's about it. You guys, you made your first Padlet board. Now that you understand how to use it, let's go over some ideas on how to implement it into your classroom. You could use Padlet at the beginning of the school year to get to know your students. Have students submit their photo and some interesting facts about what their summer or what they're looking forward to the most in this upcoming school year. Padlet is a great tool to give your students a chance to express what they learned in their lesson. So students can sometimes be sensitive of their work when they were learning something new. So for these kinds of formative assessments, you can turn off that attribution option. Padlet can be used as a mind mapping tool for group projects. Student groups can plan with Padlet and as they get answers and find more information, they can keep adding to their board. It's really important to keep a community, even if the learning is done online. So one way to do this is you can have your discussion through Padlet. So it's in real time, you'll feel like you're in the classroom. You can have a prompt uh, set up in Padlet about anything, 
and students can respond and comment on each other's posts. Make a class bulletin board for announcements and news. Also, you can have fun here by posting funny videos, celebrating birthdays of those in your class too. So those are just a few ways to help you get started with Padlet. I hope you guys have all learned something new and are excited about using some different technology in your classroom coming up. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, you can share it with others to help them too. Have a great day and I'll see you guys soon.